for most people who you know have lost a parent or lost a then you accept your life is never going to be the same ever again. The profound love and attachment Harry harbors for his late mother, Princess Diana, are universally acknowledged. However, it's imperative to acknowledge the significant impact Diana's presence had on the strained dynamic between Harry and his father, King Charles, which deteriorated to a point beyond repair. A multitude of misunderstandings plagued their relationship, fostering an atmosphere of secrecy and discord. Harry found himself grappling with a profound sense of confusion regarding Charles' treatment of Diana. While Charles, in turn, seemed determined to prevent Harry from emulating his mother's rebellious spirit. This video promises to shed light on the truth behind the simmering animosity between Harry and Charles, delving into the intricate web of emotions and experiences that underpin their troubled relationship. Charles was deeply determined to prevent Harry from following in Diana's footsteps of rebellion. The memory of Diana, the most unconventional of royals, loomed large in his mind. Her impact on the royal family was seismic, rewriting the script of what it meant to be royal and leaving an indelible mark on her sons and grandchildren. When Diana emerged onto the public stage, she was initially perceived as demure and reserved, embodying the ideal image of a blushing bride. However, this facade quickly shattered as Diana revealed herself to be a woman of remarkable strength and purpose. Her decision to remove the word obey from her wedding vows was just the beginning of a series of bold moves that defied royal tradition and expectation. The birth of her sons, William and Harry, further showcased her disregard for protocol. Unlike previous generations of royals who often gave birth at home, Diana opted for hospital births. She also made the unconventional choice to send her sons to public school a departure from the insular world of a royal education. Throughout their upbringing, Diana was fiercely hands-on and fiercely protective, embodying the spirit of a lioness guarding her cubs. In her famous interview with Martin Bashir, Diana openly declared her defiance of the royal rule book. I don't play by a rule book. I do things differently, she asserted, encapsulating her approach to life and motherhood. This interview, one of the most watched and quoted in BBC history, solidified Diana's status as a symbol of rebellion against the constraints of royalty. Diana's rebellion against royal norms wasn't merely an act of defiance. It was a call for fundamental change. She recognized that the rules governing the monarchy were outdated and in need of revision. With a unique blend of poise and honesty, Diana fearlessly addressed taboo topics such as mental health, drawing from her own struggles with depression, anxiety, and eating disorders. Her advocacy for mental health awareness was groundbreaking, shattering the stigma surrounding these issues and giving a voice to countless individuals who suffered in silence. Diana's authenticity and vulnerability allowed her to connect with people on a profound level, fostering empathy and understanding. Despite facing opposition from within the royal family and the press, Diana remained unwavering in her commitment to humanitarian causes. From championing better treatment for AIDS patients to supporting leprosy hospitals in Indonesia, she immersed herself in the plight of the marginalized and disenfranchised. By forging personal connections with those in need, Diana provided solace and support making them feel valued and heard. Even amid the turmoil of her unhappy marriage and feelings of isolation, Diana's spirit remained unbroken. Her confrontation with Camilla Parker Bowles, her husband's mistress, exemplified her inner strength and resolve. With a calm demeanor that belied her inner turmoil, Diana confronted the situation head-on, refusing to be dismissed or sidelined. Diana's mastery of the public spotlight was not limited to her humanitarian endeavors. She also skillfully navigated the tumultuous world of paparazzi attention. Rejecting the traditional constraints imposed upon princesses, Diana embraced her role as a public figure with a flair that was uniquely her own. Rather than shying away from the paparazzi, 
Diana astutely utilized their relentless pursuit to her advantage. With a calculated mix of charm and manipulation, she engaged with the media on her own terms, leveraging their fascination with her personal life to shape her public image. One of the most iconic examples of Diana's media savvy occurred in 1994, amidst the turmoil of her divorce from Prince Charles. Faced with the impending publication of a story detailing Charles's infidelity, Diana refused to retreat into seclusion. Instead, she defiantly attended an event at the Serpentina Gallery the day before the story broke. Dressed in a striking shoulderless black dress, adorned with bold red nails and an exquisite choker necklace, Diana exuded confidence and allure. Gone was the demure English rose. In her place stood a woman empowered, channeling her inner femme fatale. The contrast between this bold persona and the shy ingenue Charles had married was stark. The following day, newspapers were ablaze with images of Diana in her now-famous revenge dress, effectively overshadowing coverage of her ex-husband's indiscretions. The Christina Stambolian creation became a symbol of Diana's defiance and strength, cementing her status as a formidable force to be reckoned with. Diana, Princess of Wales, embodied traits that seemed at odds yet formed a complex and captivating persona. Described by Vanity Fair as the mouse that roared, she epitomized a quintessentially British blend of contradictory qualities. At first glance, Diana appeared to conform to the stereotype of politeness and reserve, cloaked in pearls and poised in her demeanor. Yet beneath this facade lay a dry wit and a willingness to speak her mind, often defying the expectations of her royal role. Her upbringing within the confines of aristocratic society instilled in her a sense of enforced stubbornness, a resilience that clashed with her innate emotional intelligence. Diana navigated the delicate balance between tradition and modernity, often challenging the status quo with her unconventional approach to royal duties and personal relationships. Despite her tumultuous relationship with the press, Diana wielded a unique form of power to revealed from the intense scrutiny of her private life. This love-hate dynamic with the media propelled her to a position of extreme influence, shaping public opinion and cultural discourse. Tragically, Diana's life was cut short, but her impact resonates far beyond her untimely death. She began her journey as a pearl-adorned whirlwind, disrupting the staid traditions of the royal household. With each step into the spotlight, she gained momentum, transforming into a force to be reckoned with, a tornado of boundary-breaking style and unconventional charm. Despite her inherent privilege, Diana emerged as something of an anti-hero, challenging societal norms and championing causes close to her heart. The collective mourning that followed her death revealed the depth of her connection to the British people, while her legacy continues to shape the nation's identity. The revelations about Prince Harry's emotional outburst toward his father, Prince Charles, provide a poignant insight into the deeply personal impact of his parents' tumultuous relationship. According to biographer Andrew Morton, the animosity between Charles and Diana extended beyond the public eye, manifesting in parental rivalry that reverberated within the walls of Kensington Palace. As detailed in Morton's book, Prince Harry's tender age of 11 at the time of his parents' divorce rendered him particularly vulnerable to the emotional turmoil surrounding their separation. The intensity of his feelings is palpable in the account of a heated argument during which Harry, overwhelmed by his emotions, lashed out at his father in a futile attempt to express his pain and frustration. His anguished cries of, I hate you, I hate you, you make mummy cry, underscore the profound impact of his parents' discord on his own sense of security and well-being. Meanwhile, Prince William, Although older and more emotionally mature than his brother, was not immune to the strain of his parents' troubled marriage. Morton's depiction of William's response to the turmoil paints a poignant picture of a sensitive young boy grappling with the complexity of adult emotions.
William's quiet acts of empathy, such as slipping tissues under his mother's bedroom door to comfort her in moments of distress, reveal his deep love and concern for Diana amid the turmoil of their family life. The intricate dynamics within the royal family, particularly during the tumultuous period of Prince Charles and Princess Diana's separation and divorce, are further illuminated by insights from royal experts and biographers. According to royal expert Katie Nichols' revelations in her 2010 biography, William and Harry, Prince William also grappled with the emotional fallout of his parents' marital strife. Nickel depicts a young William who, like his brother Harry, found himself unable to bear witness to the escalating tension between his parents. In a poignant moment of vulnerability, William is said to have confronted his father, expressing his anguish over the impact of their tumultuous relationship on his mother. His words, I hate you, Papa. I hate you so much. Why do you make mummy cry all the time? echo the heartbreaking sentiments expressed by his younger brother, underscoring the profound distress experienced by both princes during this challenging period. The revelation of William's own struggles adds depth to our understanding of the emotional toll exacted by the breakdown of Charles and Diana's marriage on their children. Despite their royal status, William and Harry were not immune to the pain and turmoil wrought by their parents' public and private battles. The significance of these revelations is heightened by the context of Charles and Diana's celebrated yet ultimately troubled marriage. Their union, which began amidst great fanfare with a fairy tale wedding at St. Paul's Cathedral in 1981, ultimately unraveled after 15 years, culminating in a highly publicized divorce in 1996. The unraveling of their relationship, marked by infidelity, estrangement, and public acrimony, cast a long shadow over the royal family and left a lasting impact on their sons. Amidst ongoing speculation about the dynamics within the royal family, recent reports suggest a glimmer of hope for reconciliation and healing. According to a royal insider, the arrival of baby Archie, the son of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, has the potential to mend the rift between William and Harry, as the princes are keen for their children to foster close relationships with their cousins. Additionally, Meghan and Harry's decision to streamline their household staff at Frogmore Cottage and rely on Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, for support, reflects their evolving approach to royal life and family dynamics. There are a few reasons why Charles fears Harry is as rebellious as Diana. Prince Harry's penchant for breaking royal protocol is well documented, with numerous instances highlighting his willingness to defy tradition in favor of personal choices and values. From unconventional wedding decisions to displays of affection with Meghan Markle during official engagements, Harry has consistently pushed the boundaries of royal expectations. Similarly, Princess Diana was renowned for her rebellious streak, challenging established norms and expectations throughout her life. One of the most notable examples of her defiance was her choice of engagement ring. Rather than selecting a ring from the royal jewelers, Diana opted to pick her own ring from a catalog, an unprecedented move that reflected her desire for autonomy and individuality. Furthermore, Diana's wedding to Prince Charles marked another significant departure from tradition. In a bold statement of feminist ideals, she chose to write her own wedding vows, deviating from the centuries-old script prescribed for royal weddings. By asserting her agency in this way, Diana demonstrated her commitment to challenging patriarchal norms and asserting her own voice within the confines of the monarchy. The striking similarities between Prince Harry and his late mother, Princess Diana, have long captivated royal enthusiasts and fans alike. While these resemblances may not always be immediately apparent, they become most evident when both Harry and Diana share a smile, revealing shared facial features and expressions that seem almost uncanny. Social media platforms like Twitter have become hubs for discussions among fans, who eagerly point out the striking resemblance between Harry and Diana. From their sparkling eyes to their radiant smiles, the familial connection between mother and son is unmistakable, often leading to comparisons that suggest they could be mistaken for twins. 
Moreover, the resemblance doesn't end with Harry. Observant royal enthusiasts have also noted the similarities between Harry's nephew, Prince George, and his grandmother, Diana. This familial resemblance serves as a poignant reminder of the enduring legacy of Diana within the royal family, as her features are echoed through future generations. The moment Meghan Markle made her grand entrance, all eyes were on her. But it was Prince Harry's reaction that truly stole the show. As Meghan walked down the aisle, radiant in her wedding gown, Harry's eyes lit up, and he couldn't help but express his awe. In a tender moment captured by cameras, Harry bit down on his lip and whispered to Meghan, You look amazing. This seemingly small gesture spoke volumes about Harry's feelings in that moment. It was a genuine expression of admiration and love, a testament to Meghan's beauty and the depth of their connection. But what's particularly intriguing is the subtle nuance of Harry's lip bite, a micro-expression that caught the attention of human behavioral expert Susan Constantine. As Constantine observed, this lip bite was reminiscent of a behavior often exhibited by Harry's mother, Princess Diana. Known for her emotive expressions and genuine warmth, Diana often displayed similar micro-expressions in moments of joy or affection. The fact that Harry unconsciously mirrored this behavior speaks to the profound influence Diana continues to have on her son, even in moments as significant as his own wedding day. Prince Harry and Princess Diana share a deep-seated commitment to philanthropy and compassion, dedicating much of their lives to serving those in need. Their philanthropic endeavors reflect a shared passion for making a positive impact on the world and alleviating the suffering of others. Prince Harry's dedication to charitable causes is evident through his involvement in various organizations. As outlined on the Royal website, he has taken on roles in several prominent charities, including the Invictus Games Foundation, which supports wounded, injured, and sick service personnel and veterans through adaptive sports. Additionally, Harry is actively engaged with organizations such as the Rugby Football Union Injured Players Foundation, Centibal, which he co-founded to support vulnerable children and young people affected by HIV in Lesotho and Botswana. The Royal Foundation, focused on addressing pressing social issues, and Well Child, which provides care and support for seriously ill children and their families. Similarly, Princess Diana's philanthropic efforts were extensive and heartfelt. She served as the patron of the leprosy mission, advocating for the rights and dignity of those affected by leprosy and supporting efforts to combat the disease's stigma. Diana also dedicated her time and resources to Centerpoint, a charity focused on helping homeless young people rebuild their lives. Beyond her official roles, Diana was known for her countless hospital visits, where she offered comfort and compassion to patients facing illness and adversity. Princess Diana's groundbreaking solo interview with the BBC remains one of the most memorable moments in royal history, marked by its unprecedented candor and raw emotional honesty. In this intimate conversation, Diana courageously shared her deeply personal struggles with the world, offering a rara glimpse behind the fact of royal glamour and into the depths of her own pain and vulnerability. One of the most poignant topics addressed by Diana in the interview was her battle with postpartum depression, a subject that was rarely discussed openly at the time, especially by someone of her stature. By speaking candidly about her experiences, Diana helped to destigmatize mental health issues and shed light on the challenges faced by countless new mothers around the world. Diana also addressed the devastating impact of Prince Charles's affair with Camilla Parker Bowles, laying bare the emotional turmoil and heartbreak she endured as a result of her husband's infidelity. Her willingness to confront this painful reality head-on in the public eye demonstrated both her strength of character and her commitment to honesty and authenticity. Furthermore, Diana did not shy away from discussing the complexities of her marriage to Prince Charles, acknowledging the strains and difficulties that had plagued their relationship for years. 
By sharing her truth with the world, Diana challenged the romanticized image of royal marriages and highlighted the all-too-human struggles that lie beneath the surface of even the most glamorous unions. Similarly, Prince Harry has also demonstrated a willingness to speak openly and honestly about his own experiences and struggles. In interviews with journalists, he has bravely addressed topics such as grief, mental health, and the challenges of navigating life in the public eye. Following his mother's tragic death, Harry spoke candidly about the profound impact it had on his mental well-being, describing a period of two years of chaos as he grappled with his grief and sought to find his place in the world. Princess Diana's trip to Angola in 1997 marked a watershed moment in her humanitarian efforts as she embarked on a courageous mission to raise awareness about the devastating impact of landmines. Determined to shed light on this pressing issue, Diana took unprecedented action by venturing into a cleared minefield, risking her own safety to draw attention to the plight of those affected by these deadly weapons. Diana's bold gesture captured the world's attention and underscored the urgent need for action to address the widespread use of landmines in conflict zones. Her advocacy efforts helped to galvanize support for the global movement to ban landmines and save countless lives from the indiscriminate devastation caused by these hidden explosives. Following in his mother's footsteps, Prince Harry has continued her legacy of activism and humanitarianism, particularly in the fight against landmines. Inspired by Diana's example, Harry has made multiple visits to minefields in Angola and Mozambique, witnessing firsthand the impact of these deadly devices on local communities. In 2017, Harry joined forces with the Halo Trust, one of the world's leading organizations dedicated to mine clearance, to advocate for the ambitious goal of clearing all landmines by 2025. As a patron of the Halo Trust, Harry has played a pivotal role in raising awareness about the ongoing threat posed by landmines and mobilizing support for efforts to rid the world of these dangerous remnants of war. Princess Diana's connection to the African continent was profound and multifaceted. Rooted in her passion for humanitarianism and her commitment to making a positive impact on the lives of its people. Throughout her life, Diana embarked on numerous trips to Africa, where she engaged in a wide range of charitable endeavors and forged meaningful connections with local communities. One of the highlights of Diana's visits to Africa was her meeting with Nelson Mandela, the revered anti apartheid leader and former president of South Africa. Their encounter symbolized the shared values of compassion, justice, and resilience that both Diana and Mandela embodied. And it underscored the importance of international solidarity in the fight against oppression and injustice. Additionally, Diana collaborated with organizations such as the Red Cross to support initiatives aimed at assisting amputees and victims of conflict-related violence. Her hands-on approach to humanitarian work, combined with her genuine empathy and compassion, endeared her to countless individuals who benefited from her support and advocacy. Furthermore, Diana played a pioneering role in challenging stigmas surrounding HIV-AIDS, particularly in Africa, where the epidemic had taken a devastating toll on communities. By publicly interacting with individuals affected by the disease and advocating for greater awareness and understanding— Diana helped to destigmatize HIV-AIDS and promote compassion and empathy for those living with the condition. For Diana, Africa held a special place in her heart, and her work on the continent became a cornerstone of her humanitarian legacy. Similarly, her son, Prince Harry, has also developed a deep affinity for Africa, finding solace and a sense of belonging in its diverse landscapes and vibrant cultures. In the aftermath of Diana's tragic death in 1997, Harry sought refuge in Africa, where he felt a profound connection to his mother's memory and the spirit of the continent. In an interview with Town & Country magazine, Harry expressed that he felt more like himself in Africa than anywhere else in the world, a sentiment that spoke to the profound emotional bond he shared with the continent. 
Prince Harry's warmth and affection towards children have been evident throughout his public appearances, showcasing a genuine connection and joy in their company. Whether it's engaging in playful interactions, sharing laughter, or simply being present with them, Harry's natural rapport with children has endeared him to people around the world. One memorable moment captured the hearts of many, when a young boy, perhaps oblivious to royal protocol, cheekily reached out to snag a handful of Harry's popcorn during the Invictus Games in 2017. Rather than react with surprise or annoyance, Harry responded with a good-natured chuckle, playfully teasing the young thief and delighting onlookers with his easygoing demeanor. Indeed, Harry's interactions with children often reflect a sense of spontaneity and enthusiasm, as he enthusiastically joins in their games and activities. Whether he's getting down on the floor to play with toys, sharing jokes and silly faces, or participating in sports and outdoor adventures, Harry's genuine enjoyment of these moments is palpable. This affectionate bond between Harry and his children is reminiscent of the close relationship he shared with his mother, Princess Diana. Countless photographs from Harry's childhood depict Diana embracing her role as a loving and playful mother. Whether it's riding roller coasters at an amusement park or frolicking in the sunshine at a playground, her warmth, laughter, and genuine delight in her children's company are evident in every frame serving as a heartwarming reminder of the joy and happiness she brought into their lives. Prince Harry and Princess Diana both share a star-studded roster of encounters with famous faces, each adding a unique flair to their royal interactions. Diana, with her magnetic charm and effortless grace, captivated the attention of a diverse array of celebrities, leaving an indelible impression on each encounter. Among Diana's notable celebrity hangouts were her friendships with music icon Elton John, Hollywood superstar Tom Cruise, and legendary filmmaker Steven Spielberg. Her warm and engaging personality also drew her into the orbit of screen legend Elizabeth Taylor, forging bonds that transcended fame and fortune. However, perhaps one of Diana's most iconic moments with a celebrity occurred on the dance floor with none other than John Travolta. Their unforgettable dance at the White House in 1985 remains etched in the annals of pop culture, with Diana dazzling in a stunning gown and Travolta spinning her across the floor in a moment of pure magic. In a similar vein, Prince Harry has forged his own connections with a diverse range of celebrities, reflecting his outgoing nature and broad interests. From rubbing shoulders with A-list actors like Tom Hardy to bonding with power couples like David and Victoria Beckham, Harry's interactions with the glitterati of Hollywood and beyond have become part of his royal persona. Moreover, Harry's encounters with political figures such as Obama and global icons like Rihanna showcase his commitment to various causes and his ability to engage with influencers from all walks of life. Whether attending star studded events or collaborating on philanthropic initiatives, Harry's interactions with celebrities serve to amplify his message of positive change and social impact. What do you think about the conflicts between Harry and Charles over Diana? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.